Hello everyone, this is Pujita. Welcome to Talent Battle. In this video, we are going to solve TCS NQT specific previous year questions. Like, share, subscribe our channel for more videos like this. If you are looking for detailed preparation, we have complete master class in which we are going to cover aptitude, coding, DSA, interview preparation, communication practice, company specific trainings, projects, latest technologies like full stack development, data science and many other things. For more details, please connect with us. Let's start now. An article is sold at a certain price. If it is sold at 72% of the selling price, uh, then there is a loss of 20%. What is the percentage of profit when it is sold at the actual selling price? So they are asking what would be the percentage of the profit when it is going to be sell at the actual selling price. So basically SP and CP is given here 72% of the selling price if you can sell it. Uh, generally the selling price if I imagine it is X, right now they are going to sell it just for 72% of X. 72% of X means I can say 72 divided by 100 into X, which is 0.72 X. If it is actually X rupees, but right now if it is going to be sell at 0.72 X, then there is a loss of 20%. They are going to get a loss of 20%. And now they are asking, what if, what if they sell it for the actual price of X? Then how much will be the profit or else loss? Or what is the actual profit percentage that he is going to get? So we are supposed to find out what would be the profit percentage if they are going to sell it for X rupees. So basically, there is a shortcut actually. Whenever SP uh, profit or loss or CP occurs, you can always apply this trick. That is, SP is always equal to 100 plus or minus profit or loss percentage of CP. It work out for all the problems. If a particular article is going to be sold or you are going to purchase it and you had a loss or profit, that work out for all the problems. SP is equals to 100 plus or minus profit or loss percentage of CP. CP. That means here SP is 0 0.72. That means 0.72x will be, it's a loss of 20. If it's loss, we are supposed to subtract. If it is profit, we're going to add Okay, so loss means I will subtract. So 100 minus 20, 80 percentage. So 80 percentage of CP. So 0.72x is 80 percentage of CP. Then how much would be x? What will be the percentage? Let's just do cross multiplication. This is 80 percent, right? 0.72 is 80 percent. So x will be how much percent? 80 into x divided by 0.72x. So x and x will get cancelled. 80 divided by 0.72 means it will be uh, 1, 1.11 percent. You will be having one screen calculator so you can easily do it. So it's going to be like this, triple 1.11 percent. That means it's nothing but 100 plus 11.11 percent. So what is the profit percentage? 100 plus profit. 100 plus always you need to write. By using this trick, you should always prefer like this, 100 plus. So 100 Plus 11.11 percent means what's the answer? Option B. 11.1 or 11.1 by 9 is C. 1 by 9 is also 1 uh, 1.1 or uh, 1 1 only we will get. Okay, so what is the answer? Option B. So basically, what we are going to do, we'll just apply this trick. Uh, loss of 20 percent means 80 percent will be 0 0.72. What will be X? It will be triple 1.11. That means there is a profit of 11.11. So whenever there is a relation between these terms, we can always apply this trick. If it's profit added, if it's loss subtracted. Each of the five pages of letter clusters, the letters in the second term is rearranged or transformed from the letters in the first term in a particular, uh, in a particular pattern. Uh, in the two pages, the transformation has been done in the same order. So you can see there are five pages that is given. So there is some arrangement that happened. So we need to identify in which of the pages the arrangement happened in the same manner. See, uh, that means for suppose let us take uh, option A. Means uh, the A. What was that? Woman is mentioned as A-O-N-M-W. 
See, just to avoid the confusions, let me just give the numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the position of the numbers, first of all. W is in the first position. O is in the second position. Uh, M is in the third position, like this. Now, what happened? It, it changed like this. That means it's going to become like uh, A. 4, 2, 5, 3, 1. 4, 2, 5, 3, 1. So, this is going to turn like this. 4, 2, 5, 3, 1. So, the rearrangement happened like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is turned to 4. A comes first. And then 2. And then uh, and then 5. Then 3. Then 1. So, the rearrangement happened like this. Now, we need to observe which of the options the rearrangement is in the same manner. It should be in the same manner. So, we'll go through the options. A is paid with D and D. So, let us check with D and D. M, O, N, E, Y. So, this is coded as N, O, Y, M, E. So, same thing I'll give 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, that starts with T. Actually, A starts with 4. So, definitely this is the wrong one. This rearrangement is not in the same order. Even if I arrange it, it's like 2, uh, 3, 2, 5, 1, 4. So, definitely this both are different. The rearrangement is not same. Uh, let me even check the E. So, D, board A is coded like R, O, D, B, A. So, just to avoid the confusion, so I'll just give 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 as the numbers. So, this is 4, 2, 5. 4, 2, 5 is 5. But this is 1 and 3. But in 8, it happened to be 3 and 1. So, the rearrangement is not same again. It is 3 and 1 here. But here it is 1 and 3. So, this is also not correct. So, let us check the last. So, C and E, they are asking E. We already written E here. So, let's write for C. C is F A L S E is coded like S A F uh, E L M. So same thing, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this is 4, 2, 5, uh, 4, 2, 5, F L, sorry, F L. 4, 2, 5, 1, 3. Exactly correct. 4, 2, 5, 1, 3, 4, 2, 5, 1, 3. See, this both are matching up. 4, 2, 5, 1, 3. So, this both matches. So, what's the answer? Option B. So, which of the rearrangement happened in the same manner? We are supposed to identify that. Uh, so, they gave us the uh, clustered letter clusters here. And we need to identify where the rearrangement is in the same order. So, it's option B. Option B. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is arranged like 4, 2, 5, 1, 3 in both of these options. I hope you understood the questions that we discussed in this video. For more videos like this, please subscribe our channel. Thank you.